Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here, back with another video. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, big announcement today. Ethereum Core devs, they had a meeting today. Um, just talking about a few announcements. Uh, big announcements, I guess. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to touch on was ProgPal. Uh, they talked about ProgPal and they confirmed that it is going to happen. They are going to implement it in. We're going to kick out all the ASICs. We're going to kick out all the FPGAs. This is it, guys. This is it. Um, okay, so I first found out about this news from Bitsby Trippin. You guys, you guys probably know this guy. He's the OG, crypto OG, crypto mining OG of YouTube. Um, subscribe, click the little bell. You guys should follow him. If you have not already, you probably are if you're watching me. Uh, I'll link this video. You guys can just search for him. You guys probably saw this video already. Uh, I'm just making another video because I love this guy and uh, I, I want to talk about ProgPow. Um, so mainly I'm just going to go through the article and some other things later on. Uh, Cointelegraph.com, Ethereum Core Devs move forward with ASIC resistant proof of work algorithm. Um, so basically, Ethereum core devs have reached a tentative consensus to implement new proof-of-work algorithm that would increase efficiency of GPU-based uh, opposed, as opposed to ASIC-based on the mining network. Uh, so that's the whole thing, just to get rid of ASICs and stuff. Um, during the meeting, developer Hudson Jameson noted he had heard very little dissent to implementing ProgPow. Uh, which has so far trialed via client implementations running on Gangnam Testnet, as previously reported. Uh, so the guys, the Testnet I have right here. I'll have the link in the description, uh, and I'll make a comment as well. You guys, you guys can point um, the miner to it. Here's a test pool, testnet.progpool.pro. Uh, you can download the latest prog miner. And here is a GitHub for the prog miner. So there's an AMD miner and a NVIDIA prog miner, 1.0.2. Uh, pretty cool. So I'll have that link in the description. You guys can try it out, see what hash rates you get on your cards. Um, uh, back to the article. So ASIC refers to mining hardware use it, that uses application-specific integrated circuit chips, which are tailored to efficient, efficiency mine, efficiently mine cryptocurrency based on specific hashing algorithm. Meanwhile, setups that use, that use graphics processing units, aka graphic cards, GPUs, are less specialized and therefore to date struggle to complete, compete for rewards on the network with those that deploy ASICs. Um, so you guys, the, the ProgPow team um, consists of three developers, uh, Miss If, which is aka Oh Got A Girl, Mr. Else, uh, aka Radix Pi, and Mr. Def. Uh, so you guys probably know, most of you guys know probably Oh Got A Girl, she was with Minority, Ogata company, she released the, they released the ETH enlargement pill for the 1080 and 1080 Ti's. Super cool, by the way. Um, yeah, so this is the, this is the GitHub for ProgPal. A little, a little, um, intro here to ProgPal if you guys don't know. It's, uh, meaning Prog, Prog, P-O-W, a pragmatic proof of work, uh, algorithm designed to close the efficiency gap available to specialized ASICs. It utilizes almost all parts of commodity hardware, aka GPUs, and comes pre-tuned for most of the hardware utilized in the Ethereum network. Um, I'll have this link below, you guys can check it out. Uh, so the two developers, uh, they were in the uh, Ethereum meeting, Ethereum dev meeting. Uh, it was uh, Else and Miss If Oh God, a girl. They're both they're both in the uh, meeting. Um, uh, they gave their opinions, uh, which reportedly not only made it a little bit harder for ASIC miners, but also sta stabilized hash rate. So they have stabilized. They mentioned that they have stabilized the hash rate. Um, security lead Martin Holst Swende gave his opinion that Prog POW is more resistant both to ASICs and certain accelerators, aka FPGAs, 
that can be used for GPU based setups and that switch to ProgPal would postpone the level of ASICs on our network for at least a year on our own on our on our network or perhaps more. So yeah, ProgPal yeah, is ASIC resistant up to a point till maybe a year or so until ASIC people companies figure it out. Um, you guys know like Bitmain made the first Ethereum ASIC, which is the E3, I believe, and it was only it was only marginally marginally better, not like amazing, right? Um, he also noted that Ethereum's current P proof of work algorithm ETHash has flaws which are currently being targeted, stating that's why I would like to switch as soon as possible to give us time to move to proof of stake. Um, so I know that he said that part around 50 minutes and 12, 11, 10 seconds around there. 50 minutes, if you guys start from there, 50 minutes into the uh, dev meeting, number 52. I'll have this li li linked in the video in the description below, guys, so you guys can check it out. Um, now, to continue with the article, as reported, after revolving through hybrid POS, Proof of work Casper protocol. Ethereum is expected to ultimately transition to POS Casper V2 alongside sharding. That le that latter will aim to mitigate the excessive energy consumption associated with proof of work issues with equal access to mining hardware, mining proof of centralization, as well as providing an on-chain uh, scaling solution. Um, the devs meeting today comes just ahead of planned implementation of Ethereum's fifth system-wide update, or hard fork, dubbed. Constantinople. So guys, I made a video yesterday talking about Constantinople and the hard fork that's going to happen between January 14th and 15th, uh, 16th. Uh, the devs learn towards rolling out Prague POW sometime before the launch of the next hard fork, basically Istanbul. So I think Istanbul is stated to happen in the next eight or nine months, they said, um, and they want to implement prog pow between there um although the exact timing for prog pow will continue to be discussed in the next devs meeting january 18th so that's gonna be you know in another 14 days they will all talk about prog pow again and when they will will release it with the ethereum network um ethereum co-founder vitalik buterin recently posted extensive comments on future blockchains with sharding based on proof of stake, claiming they will be thousands of times more efficient than existing networks. So, I guess you guys, proof of proof of uh, work, the prog pal, it will just be a bridge, uh, a, a little bridge between what Ethereum is now and going into proof of stake. Who knows how long that will be? Um, but according, if you guys watch the video. Um, the meeting uh, around I believe yeah 50 minutes that's the same time yeah Mar Martin Holst Swende uh, he basically believes prog, prog pow is more resistant resistant to those accelerators um, and will probably help postpone the uh, work that can happen on the proof of stake for a while so um, they, he wants to switch to proof of stake as soon as they can, so they can work on proof of stake. Uh, sorry, they want to work. They want to, they want to switch to proof of work, the prog pal, as soon as possible, so that they can work on proof of stake. Um, yeah, so that kind of that kind of stuff. Um, later on in the video, I uh, forgot what time, but Mr. Else, the uh, prog pal developer, one of them. Uh, one of the three um, mentioned um, he says that on the market right now the DDR5 uh, ETH hash are marginally better uh, but he says that the GDDR6 ETH hash uh, ASICs that are coming out um, are two times better so two times better than GPUs like in terms of efficiency power to hash rate ratio all that kind of stuff right um so with ProgPal, he said ProgPal will bring that down 1.2 times. So uh, what he means by that, um, there's a video, uh, I don't have it, but oh, it's here. Uh, yeah, so Bitsby Trippin 
did a test uh, on the Prague Pal, um, but I think he's mining yeah Bitcoin interest here, and he's getting 12 mega hash on a 12 on a 1070 Ti, and um, yeah, so it's not like the usual 33, 32 mega hash on Ethereum, right? But on Prog Pow, he's getting around 12 mega hash. Uh, and, and I believe that's at 100 power limit on the card. So that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, guys. So I <laughs> there's so much there's so much information uh, about this Prog Pow, guys. Um, to end off the video, um, my opinion, I'm really glad this is happening. Uh, there are, there could be unknown, unknown announced ASICs on the Ethereum network right now that we don't know, right? Um, and so it's being centralized, as you, right? So we don't want that. We want to have more decentralized, and ProgPow is basically our savior for that. Um, now, to end off, yeah, a few articles. I want you guys, I'll, I'll link these in the description. Uh, there's a Medium article from Ogata Girl, The Problem with Proof of Work. Uh, she mentions um, Proof of Work had a goal. It was a simple one, really prevent network centralization. The equation of this goal was a combination of crypto guy math, philosophy, psychology, and resource costs inherent with hardware, but missed it missed a vital piece. So I think this was before when Ethereum announced that they don't want to implement any new uh, algorithm. Uh, sorry, proof of work is not an algorithm. It's just an attached, it's just an extension of ETH hash. Uh, they basically uh, said they don't, they're not going to change, they're not going to change it due to ASICs and all that kind of stuff because they're going to be working on proof of stake. But now, today, they announced it. So um, that's that's really it's it's awesome, right? Um, here's a video you guys should watch. It's Ogata Girl talking about the Prague proof of proof of work. Um, this video doesn't have many views. It's only 164 views, 13 likes, and only two comments. I want I want you guys I want you guys to watch this. It's it's Ogata Girl explaining talking about proof of work and everything and how. Um, what, what the problems and how they got past and how they're working on this uh, proof of work. I'm not a developer. I don't really know the the jargon that they're using to uh, talk about um, programming the proof of work, pragmatic proof of work. Um, so you guys check that out. Uh, oh, it's a lot of information to digest. I'm 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 still. I'm still new to all of this. Like I've heard of ProgPow, and I didn't really know the the internals of it. I, I'm still learning, guys. But uh, this is just a video to announce a lot of a lot of things. Um, check out the ProgPow pool uh, testnet. You guys can check it out. I'll have it linked in the description. Download the latest ProgMiner and test it on ProgPool.pro. And uh, all right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.